Hi, good morning. We're here with Matthew from Security Direct Products Limited. How are you doing? Very good, thank you. Yeah, great. Good stuff. So we'll just uh, head straight in. If you'd like to yeah, tell the viewers a little bit about who you are, what you do, and how long you've been doing it for, please. Yeah, so I'm Matthew uh, Yeo. Um, I'm the Managing Director of Security Direct. Uh, we are a small business in Beverly um, with my two brothers, uh, both younger. Um, we sort of specialize in roller shutters and security doors and security grills. Uh, we work with anything from MOD sites to police stations, schools, shops, down to Mr. Jones down the road, um, trying to protect his house. Um, our main goal is to provide value for money and a good experience to our customers. Um, that's what we what we, we aim to do. Um, we set up the company in uh, 2010. Um, it all came about where I'd been working for my father's business, uh, which was closing, um, which was doing sort of more wrought iron sort of grills and that type of thing. Um, the industry sort of, it was, they had a big, large project with the police, which came to an end, and then sort of other contracts came to an end, so that sort of closed. Um, and so I was a bit of a limbo, uh, what to do. And my other brother's Ollie, he was in banking, um, not particularly enjoying it. Um, mm -hmm. And then my other brother was Alex, who was a hotel manager and a chef at the time. Um, they were He was working long hours and looking to change sort of his life because it was affecting his health and stuff. Um, so it all came out the same time really to be honest with you uh, and that's why we've set up security direct um so yeah it's um yeah we're, we're growing uh, year on year and and it's it's nice that we actually work as a family a family yeah yeah, yeah. Great stuff. yeah. some people will hate that i love it i like it <laughs> it works for me it can be uh, the best of uh, the best of worlds for some people, and uh, not not the greatest for for others. If, uh, exactly, yeah, family. for health yeah. others, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But <laughs> no, it works well for three brothers. Excellent. Twelve years and going strong. That's, yeah, that's yeah. yeah. It's a good good Can't time. It's never business. been a bad word said, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a good long time in business, yeah, especially working with families. So obviously, that's covered the pandemic over the last uh, two or three years. How did that affect things for you? What was the kind of biggest uh challenge for you there to be honest with you the pandemic uh we're very fortunate it did us a lot of good um mm -hmm. we it allowed us to basically stop step back uh, and actually evaluate the business and where we were where we wanted to go and things like that so we actually shut down uh on the first lockdown and we were closed for actually three months um so in that time, rather than just sitting around drinking wine in the garden and uh, wine and cheese for lunch every day, uh, we actually came up with a bit of a strategy of what we wanted to do, uh, how we could improve things. Um, so one of the things we looked at was uh, things like uh, internal systems, how we could make things more automated, smoother um, for our customers, better experience for our customers. Um, how to reduce data entry internally, um, because obviously then you get issues and problems and mistakes. Um, mm -hmm. so, so that was one part that we looked at. Um, another part we looked at was the, the website, how we could improve things like that. Um, so it was actually quite good for us because we could, it gave us the time to actually step back and evaluate. Because I think the problem is as a small business, you're busy day in day out just running in it and you're just running along firefighting everything all the time and you don't get the chance to actually review things yeah. um so for us it came um it was a good thing for us um and it allowed us to put these systems into place which is now allowing the, the business to grow more if we just stayed as we were without the lockdown i think we were just continued um yeah. continuing as we were that's it head, head down not uh, getting a chance to look at uh, the wider picture working on and in the business that it's a kind of classic thing with uh say a lot of business business owners where they're you yeah, have got to do the day-to-day -day stuff uh, and find it difficult to take a step back and mm -hmm. look at the things that you've you've just described yeah a lot of businesses have uh 
taken that chance in in that time period to reflect and, and move forward so is there anything you mentioned systems there a couple of things that might stand out that you've kind of changed and and obviously kept um yeah i mean a lot of the so we use a crm system um mm -hmm. you know we use uh, salesforce uh, which is a big powerful system um crm system so it was more about what we could get out of that to, to automate a lot of the processes. So it could be things from simply setting reminders to ourselves. So if this task hasn't been done after so many days, it would eat reminders. Um, yeah. Because I think, you know, the problem is, is there's so many things happening in the business, you forget to do things. Um, you know, and you don't want to just set reminders for every single task because a lot of them you tick off and forget to tick off. Whereas at least this if this rule has not happened, um, then it will then send the, the reminder. So little things like that uh, has made a big difference for us. Good stuff. Thank you for sharing that. So in terms of where we are now, obviously there's a number of uh, challenges, uh, obstacles to overcome in terms of economy and uh, changes in the world right now. What do you see as the main challenges? Also, how does the future look for you? And what does you see as the main challenges over the next 12 months or so? Um, it's a good, good question. Um, we, so the last two years after the pandemic, uh, we've put them systems in place. We're growing year on year. Um, I think we were 30% up on turnover last year we we're hoping to be up 25 percent this year um so we are growing at quite a, a, a pace um so this year because of the covid and things although we spent time putting the systems in place we didn't want to invest money into it because we didn't know where the business was going to go with the pandemic Mm -hmm. um so now we've had a good couple of years now we're actually investing uh, money into these systems um so we're, we're spending money on the salesforce we're spending money on a new website and things like that which is going to take us to the next level pretty much um so so from that side of the point it's very exciting yeah there is a bit of concern obviously um so from you've got obviously we're potentially going to go into recession if we're not already there um the world's going to probably go into recession um so how that's going to affect i don't think you can plan for that um from previous experience um a normal recession crime tends to go up um so we tend to stay fairly busy um mm -hmm. From a construction point of view, uh, where we do a lot of work for construction sites and developments, how that's going to be affected, I'm not sure. Uh, is there going to be the money there to invest in big buildings and things like that? I don't know. Um, then there's obviously the cost of material. Um, so cost of materials have gone up. Uh, so that, like if you bought a shutter now, it's probably nearly double the cost it was before the before COVID um so the cost of everything going up um you know materials um i think it was only about three months ago i think aluminium went up about 20 percent a ton uh which is quite a lot uh, yeah. and then obviously you take on the cost of like, electricity and things like that the cost of manufacturing stuff is going to um it's going to have a knock-on effect um sure. it has a it has affected the domestic market um like the garage doors and things so the garage doors was um when people during covid people spent a lot of money because they were at home they were going on holiday they spent a lot of money on the home so they spent a lot on garage doors and things like that um now cost of, now all that's spent people are now going away cost of living's going up the last thing they're thinking about is spending a couple of thousand pounds on the garage door um so that's going to be affected um again how it's going to affect the construction industry i really don't know um i mean the way that i see it is that if you're planning to build a big building um five years ago and the work's now happening it's now costing two three times the price of what you budgeted for yeah how can it continue um so so i'm excited in one way mm -hmm. uh, yeah unsure in the next um but 
the way that we look at it is that we're getting all the systems in place. So um, we're doing all the groundwork this year. Yeah. So if we're ready to go from January onwards, we're, we're there ready. Uh, if we have to scale that back until things change, then so be it. We'll put it back a few yeah. months. Um, um, I mean, we've been quite fortunate with um, supplies. Um, I know some industries have struggled getting supplies from like China and stuff like that. Um, most of our stuff actually comes from Europe. So mm-hmm. It's not too bad. Uh, so we've not been really affected. But, you know, the talks of China going into recession and things like that. So that's going to have a massive effect on control panels and things like that, where all the circuitry boards come from. Um, like the car industry is struggling from at the minute. Um, yeah. So, touch wood. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, my brother's just ordered one and it's taken two years. Um, <laughs> yeah, so it's crazy. Um, you'd have to wait two years for a roller shift, you're all right. Um, <laughs> it was still in about three to four weeks. So, um, That's pretty good. So, yeah, pretty good. So, so, yeah, I don't I don't know is the honest answer where, where we're going to go. Um, we're still going to remain optimistic, ambitious. Mm-hmm. Uh, we want to grow the business. Um, this might just be a little bump in the road. Find find opportunities where there are them, and then, as you say, plan for uh, if it to happen, and, and just keep on looking forward. No one's got a uh, sort of uh, a ball that they can look in and uh, predict the future. Exactly. So. No, exactly, exactly. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. So move to yourself as a business owner then, and being able to share what would you say is your biggest learning that you've had since you've been in business if there's one that you can i think covid taking time out to step back from the business and evaluate it i think that is a massive thing um for us um and i think that's important for any business really uh, especially small businesses um and i think also focusing again probably down to covid um you focus on your own health and your well-being um you know i think people during covid have you know they don't want to stressful lives and stuff like that so they're taking more time um, care of themselves and stuff like that um so i think that's really important and i also think finding the right team um finding the right people um there's nothing worse than having negative uh, lazy staff um that actually bring the energy of the business down and also the growth um so again i think it's really uh, important to get the right team uh, and then when you've got the right team looking after them stuff yeah makes a lot of sense um and then if you were to go back in time and uh, yourself at 18 what would be the best piece of advice you could give to matthew at 18 um i thought about this earlier um yeah. i would say number one is looking after your health and your well-being i think that's so important the amount of people you speak to that are burnt out uh, mm-hmm. depressed uh, it affects their home life, the work life. Um, I think that is so important. Um, I mean, I'm in mid forties. I wish I'd have known it earlier. Um, yeah. Abused my body for all these years, and now I'm paying for it. So, yeah. <laughs> um, and also, do more things that you enjoy and make you feel good. Um, you know, don't do the thing. You know, if you enjoy going to the go to the gym, you know what I mean, and uh, yeah. do that. And improve your knowledge. Um, you know, I think now, uh, if I was 18, you know, YouTube and things like that wasn't really what it is now. Um, there's a fountain of knowledge out there. Go out there and learn about things that you're interested in. There's plenty of videos out there and, and improve your knowledge. Um, it will always help. Um, um, I would also say um, talk things through with people. Don't keep it to yourself. Uh, I'm very fortunate. I've got my two brothers. Um, you know, we work together. We bounce ideas off each other. You know, mm-hmm. if one of us has a bad day, the other one sort of steps up and helps out and stuff. Um, so that's that's really important because there's nothing worse than going home to your wife on a night uh, and giving her all the earache. Uh, so it's <laughs> yeah. not fair. You know what I mean? So that's talk right. things through with people. You know, people like yourselves, actually, you know, um, that's what you're there for, you know, for bouncing ideas off and things. Um, yeah. And sometimes another, another opinion or different eyes on it can make such a big difference. Um, uh, another thing I would say is work hard. You get out of life what you put in. Um, 
you know, some people just want to sit back and do nothing and then wonder why they haven't achieved anything either. Um, so, yeah. yeah. And and the last thing I would say is is, speak, uh, is something that I'm quite big into is listening to podcasts um, mm-hmm. of influential uh, people. Um, I mean, I listen to the Stephen Bartlett, Diary of the CEO, um, yeah. and he gets really um, successful, influential guests on, and they've got very important stories and messages to tell. And I think you can learn quite a lot. There's quite a lot that resonates with me, um, you know, mm-hmm. and all these successful people have had the same issues that we've all had. You know, they might have struggled with bullying or something like that. And, yeah. um, you know, listen to them. You know, all these people have got an interesting story to say. And, you know, some of it resonates with you uh, and can help you in the smallest way or direct you in a different way. You know, we all get stuck in certain aspects of our lives. So by listening to what other people have gone through, um, it might help you. I wish I had have known of this, you know, when I was 18. Yes. You know, because yeah. the problem is you, you leave school. What do you do? You don't really know what you want to do. Um, you know, I've got to have these podcasts to listen to. Yeah. Um, you know, you may, you may have it and, yeah, it could do, your, definitely. Such no, a definitely. wealth of information out there now. Um, and yeah. As podcasts you take the little bits that are relevant for you and you can exactly. add, keep those and move forward with yeah. them and keep on adding and keep on adding definitely it's a good yeah, yeah, yeah. good share thank you for that yeah. and, so, and it's free it's yeah free. exactly that's you know it. what Learn, I mean it's free. Yeah. you know I mean I listen to the podcast on the way to work every morning you know that's yes. it you've got time in the day you can do these things and you just do if you do it every day these little habits one percent a day they keep on adding and adding and yeah. adding yeah, it's definitely about the person that you become through through business um, yeah. and that that kind of journey be fulfilling for for people I, I know that for sure um yeah. you've shared some good advice there especially about balance of life <laughs> um, i think it's really important yourself. isn't it you know you hear so many people that have you know separated from partners and lost everything mm. and and it, you know, even like going back to the diary CEO and stuff, the amount of people that have gone through and done it wrong, their life balance has not been right. Yeah. Um, share the scars. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, what what inspires you to do what you do? Then, is there a, um, you've mentioned podcasts there that are inspiring? Is there obviously maybe working with your your family, your brothers? Uh, yeah, I love working with my brothers. Um, I. I think it's quite special being able to work with your family. Um, yeah. You know, we get on well, you know, we, we trust each other. Um, we're there for each other. We've we got each other's backs, you know, which can be difficult, you know, with employees that are, they're not tied into the business type of thing, you know. Um, yeah. So I'm really fortunate for having that. Um, and I hope it continues. And then lastly, uh, is there any sort of latest news or any, I mean, some people may have offers or promotions or as I say, it could just be sharing your, your website, people to go to, to have a look. Uh, yeah, yeah. So um, obviously we're very excited. We're launching a new website in the next um, probably month or so. Um, rebrand, rebranding as well. Um, so watch this space really, you know, uh, if you need roller shutters, um, yeah. Google security direct uk.com, uh, and we're more than happy to help you and, and, you know, give you free advice and, and, uh, try help you. Excellent. Yeah. Thanks very much, Matthew. It's been wonderful yeah, to talk to you. Hope it all goes from strength to strength and, uh, yeah, you, know, you do another, another 12 years or so and keep on going, 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 going. <laughs> Absolutely. (laughs) Thanks, Matthew. Take care. No problem. Thanks for your time. Cheers.